for me, Starship was really interesting and exciting to watch. I don't think that test flight could have gone any better. I mean, they needed it with after back-to-back -back, right. you know, sort of hiccups, so it was important to see them demonstrate the success across the mission. Right? Yeah, fail fast, learn fast, do it publicly. There was a lot of criticism, there was a lot of eyeballs, and a lot of public doubt based on their test program and like the three setbacks that they had earlier this year. But I think that this test flight, it hit all of its milestones. It had a whole bunch of firsts, booster soft splash, down payload deployment in space raptor reflight a controlled upper stage re-entry which is what we put on the cover of the space iq this quarter as the most important thing that happened this quarter there's still some big gates ahead you know they need to dock in orbit and do a propellant transfer but there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic about this program it's really silenced a lot of the naysayers um, there was a nasa panel that said that you know starship's holding up the artemis program but at the same time italy's space agency signed up to be the first customer to go to mars so clearly there are some customers who are interested in this and I think confidence is the key word there. It, it sort of restored some of that confidence more broadly.